all the Lübeck only has one province at the start, it starts with the biggest army in Germany and the biggest income in Germany. It's also located in one of the best trade nodes in the entire game. And the best thing about Nubek is that it can get an insane income from gold with just one simple trick. In this video, I'll show you how to play as Nubek. As usual, let's start with privileges. Grant mana privileges, this land, grant religious diplomats, clerical education, military advisor cost reduction, nobility officer rights, burger loans. And if you're comfortable with strong burgers and you're willing to manage estates, grant noble school rights and allow burgers economic freedom. They will become quite powerful though, be careful. Some the died, choose whatever you like here, grant admiralship and grant generalship. Now choose your trading fleet and start protecting trade in Lübeck. Hire free company, check out your diplomatic advisors if you have improved relations one or diplomatic reputation one, you can hire them. As your rivals choose your neighbors and you can choose either Brandenburg or someone else. Now a scornful insult arrival of Austria, important, specifically rival, not enemy, and start improving relations. Ok, you want to Samborg, right click on your neighbors and check if some of them don't have allies. Usually Lüneburg and Saxe-Lenburg don't have them, at least they didn't in all of my test runs. So you can finish your first mission and declare with conquest. Assign general, you check him out, not bad. If you don't see any good targets and you have free diplomat, you can start improving relations with rivals of Denmark. Sometimes it's Poland, sometimes it's Burgundy, sometimes it's Lithuania. You need to find some allies against Denmark. Yes, it starts friendly to you, but don't allow it. Ok, here we go, let's peace out. Take on province and targets. So you might ask why declare on 11 December? Because these nations can and will find allies. So it's better to conquer them while you're strong. So it's better to conquer them while they're weak. So now you want to get 100 relations with Austria and find two allies. No matter what allies, just find some. It really doesn't matter, it's always just ally for once, I guess. Maybe some alone else, we will break this. Alliances, don't worry. We just need to finish this mission. For this you need to have either import relations advisor or the magic reputation advisor. They almost always appear on the start, so you should be able to do it. Now you will get 25 trust with Austria, and that means you will be guaranteed to ally it. Ok, yes, I don't know why it's like this, but if you do this in the first month after you get 25 trust, you will be able to ally it, believe me. And about unlawful territory, most likely Austria won't ask for it. Ok, so I see I can almost ally England and I can almost ally Lithuania. And yes, Lithuania here is dependent, but doesn't really matter, you just need to find rivals of Denmark. If you recall, let's like England. Oh no, almost, almost. Yes, here it is. Let's break some other alliances. Provence, it's useless. And I will try to ally Lithuania. It's very important to find some allies against Denmark, because Austria won't support you. Also, let's briefly talk about trade leaks, maybe let's expand it. So, you see, members of trade leaks will give you 50% of their trade power. And what's more important, your missions give quite big bonuses to those nations. I recommend to make trade leaks not on Lübeck, but in Germany. In these two trade nodes, Saxony and Rhineland. They flow into Lübeck and most likely you won't expand there. Invite Anhalt, Frankfurt. It doesn't cost diplomatic relations, so you can do it as many times as you want. It will be more and more difficult to invite them because of size of trade league, but I recommend to do it with as many nations as possible. Ok, here we go, we can ally Dortmund. And I also see that Mecklenburg is a really easy target to conquer. Always check your neighbors, always try to find weak neighbors. So we can declare and take some provinces. Or we could also declare on that Martian, but it would be quite difficult. Before that Martian, I would first conquer Holstein. Anyway, let's conquer Mecklenburg, should be really, really easy. Here we go, stack wipe. Like I said, nothing difficult. Now we just need to siege down the fort. Ok, siege down Mecklenburg, let's threaten Brunswick. If you want to piss out a like quickly, just siege down some provinces and put your troops on their capital. Yes, as you can see, they are almost agreed to piss out. Well, I have to siege down Brunswick, but this means at least we will get some money. And let's fully conquer Mecklenburg. Don't worry about collisions. Right now, it's not a problem. And don't worry about unlawful territory. If you're allied to Austria, it won't ask for it. Ok, now that we conquered Mecklenburg, we have access to one more center of trade. Here it is, in August. We could also expand here, but it's not that easy. You see, Hamburg and Bremen are free cities. That means that Austria will always protect them. Always. There are some ways to conquer them, but they will give you a lot of great expansion. Now we can finish the mission, greening steers ahead. And we will start on some claims, but it's not really a big deal. Patient this mission would require declaring on Denmark. Anyway, now it's allied with Lithuania, should be possible. Yes, it is. Let's check out Denmark. We need to carry some favors. Not a big deal. Meanwhile, we're just going to chill, and our next target would be Lunenburg. Yes, you see, you are merchant public. That means that you shouldn't be conquering a lot. You should not be blobbing. But I think it's a good idea to conquer whole Lübeck trade node directly. Although, two provinces in Germany won't make a collision. You just need to play carefully just because 
actually promises give a lot of increasing expansion. And remember you also need to declare on Denmark. Well, I would need at least 5 years I think to do it because I need to carry favors, so it's safe to declare on Lunenberg. And by the way, always keep an eye on Gotland. If it doesn't have any ally, strike. If you see good opportunity, declare as soon as possible. Well, I guessed correctly, no coalition now. But I would need to take some pause because next war will most likely create a coalition. And by the way, it's not necessary to expand like I do. You could, for example, conquer only coastal nations first. Or maybe you could declare on Denmark earlier. Just try to find good opportunities. That's what it's about. I'm already quite rich, so let's hire some advisors. Take Burger Loans. Once again, here it is. And start completing our economic missions. This ones. So we need to build marketplace in Lübeck. It's actually a good idea even without mission. More trade power in Lübeck always useful. Here I need to be really careful because Saxony has a very strong general. Stack wiped somehow. I guess that's because of military technology. Yes, they have third, I have fourth. Never be behind on Miltech. Never. Let's peace out Saxony, take war operations. And let's peace out in the park. No collisions yet. Okay, now there is this mission, but always read the reward. Some of them are conditional. So we need to get 160 relations with Hamburg. Maybe that's allied, I don't know. Or maybe interesting relations, why not? And whole trade league will get some bonuses. Oh, okay, I think let's ally Hamburg, because it's allied to Denmark. Finish the mission, get some bonuses and plus one administrative power. And I will try to prevent it from joining the war against Denmark. Maybe let's even build Splendorf on Denmark and the colony directly. Also, by the way, might be worth a try allying Poland. Also, just a heads up, you can finish most missions by inviting nations to trade league. But Poland is actually quite good province and has great monument, so it's better to conquer it. But Riga would be better as independent nation. A third country formed Tech Republicanism. And also Marketplace is built here. Let's develop it back four times and we can finish one more mission. So right now I will declare on Denmark. Find our ships, take some park loans, buy good general. Yes, you can buy generals. Don't forget that you can do this. All well, this one is really good, both combat and siege. And a last declare on Denmark, most likely. I tried to prevent Hamburg from joining in just because it will leave our trade league. We would need to add it once again. It's usually possible, but still it's inconvenient. And also Austria won't help you. That's why I told you to ally Danish rivals. And don't forget that Sweden is usually unloyal. As you can see here, 100% of liberty desire. That means it won't help. So that's like minus 12k troops from Denmark. It shouldn't be really difficult. Maybe let's wait more. Here it is. Let's go to Dania. And you might ask why Austria won't help. That's because, as you can see, Holstein is a vassal of Denmark, and Holstein is in HRE. And Austria won't declare war on HRE nation no matter what. It's a rule of HRE emperor. Interesting. Well, I guess that's because we declared on Denmark, not on Holstein. Okay, okay, it's good. So first I would recommend to try to piss out allies. That's the first thing you should do. And don't forget to hide your ships. Meanwhile, we can start building some galleys, I think. After we piss out Hamburg, Riga and Teutonic Order, we should have naval superiority. Yes, as you can see, Hamburg and Riga left trade league. Oh, and also forgot to mention very important information. Mercantilism. In the events with mercantilism, always take it. Always. Need a lot of mercantilism to finish Lubeck's mission tree. Okay, I will siege down their capital and I'm almost done. I want to take trade power from Teutonic Order. Here we go. War patience and trade power. Don't take money because you will have to share with allies. Okay, that was the strongest ally of Denmark, now it will be a piece of cake. Also, by the way, you should do this. Take unnecessary provinces, this ones, and start improving relations with angry nations. Once again, we won't take all provinces, but better to start improving relations now so we can take as many as possible. Okay, let's piece out Hamburg and Riga. As first idea group, take diplomatic. That's always the best idea in the HRE. Also, by the way, the work with Denmark will take some time, but we can conquer Gotland. Lithuania won't support it because we are at war together. Let's conquer Gotland, very good province, and the loot fort here. No one would even land here. And I won't help Austria to siege down Sealand, no need. I need to do the opposite, to try to drag this war, while improving relations with any angry nations. My improved relations campaign is going just great. A little bit more and no coalition, and I can take all of this. And because I have more than 50% straight power in Lubeck, I can finish piece of Whitening Park. Okay, only Platinum is left, I think I will wait for 31st December. Okay, here we go, we can peace out. Let's take trade power and war operations. Well, just war operations, also good. Now let's wait, check out coalition. Well, everything should be good. Let's buy one more diplomat and put it on improved relations with outraged nations. Yes, that's the power of improving relations. You can ignore quite a lot of aggressive expansion. So why take this princess? Well, Sealand is actually great prince, like really great. 
uh, one central trade here and host time not only because of central trade but also for the mission pen and sword we also need to conquer this martian i think i will wait for a little bit after all we have a lot of crazy expansion let's also invite hamburg to trade league once again and Riga. here we go also if possible higher improved relations advisor improved relations really helps with aggressive expansion also by the way we can cancel clearing of holstein because after we finish this mission if you have more than 100 relations with the emperor you will get core for free but i will clear everything else also as soon as you can build such flagship light ship trade power per ship in fleet it's very important take this and after this it's up to you but i would take fleet engagement with and fleet blockade impact on siege or you can take movement speed or whatever the most important is this trade route map i have some free mana so let's develop new book we need to have at least 25 developments here and it should be more developed than these points i will also need to build workshop here but that will be later first i need to build flagship i will also once again protect them with Denmark, just to be safe so we can declare on it no matter what. Also, it should be safe enough to declare this Martian. Once again, there is no set order on what to conquer. You can conquer depending on your situation. Here, for example, this Martian is really weak and is a good target. But Locust is also a very good target, but it will just cost a lot of aggressive expansion. Plus, it can ally point, for example, or summon strong. In this case, it's not, but I will need to wait more. And once again, I will start improving relations. It's very, very important. Okay, our flagship is ready, and that means that all ships in the fleet will give us plus 1 trade power. Let me show you. So with flagship, it's protect trade, plus 96 from ships, without flagship, only plus 16. So flagship will really help you with trade. Because I've built workshop in our capital, we can finish two missions. Finance the guilds, and every trade league member will get the same. That's why trade leagues are important. And by the way, trade league members will turn into vessels. Not right now, but eventually if you finish the last Rubik missions. The Rubik Herring Market. I would recommend to choose the first option, because basically these local goods produced are the same as manufacturing. Plus fish is more expensive than naval equipment. Oh no, even more goods produced than manufacturing. So unless you have some specific reasons, it's better to choose the first option. And just by coincidence, I can finish one more mission. Impose a Rubik Law. And I once again want to underline, let's say, get more mercantilism. You need a lot of it, and, and I mean a lot. All right, now you can not buy it, you will have some bonuses to it. But just keep it in mind. Let's raise Renaissance by the way. And now I will develop this promise a little bit more. It will also help with H objective. I will be able to complete this mission and get cheap advisor. But you also can ally some Italian nation and it will also work. Okay, here we go, we can peace out. Improved relations will really help you early on. Just don't forget that you can improve only upwards to 100. So if you have more than 100 crazy expansion, it won't work. It only works for some time. Anyway, I improved relations with Austria 200, that means after I finish this mission, I will get free core on Holstein. Here it is, no, I didn't core it. And finish the flow of trade. And because we also conquer Sealand, you can finish this mission. And get some claims. In this case, on Sweden. Most likely, you quickly will have more money than you can spend. So you're going to build some marketplaces, some uh, workshops, well, you know, the usual stuff. Just don't build anything that provides a less than 0.1 income. Let's also invite some more nations to trade leagues. Preferably, should invite the ones uh, with centers of trade. And build some relations here. I hired this advisor and built some ships. We can finish expand the Admiralty. You need to finish all of these missions to get the best reward in the Big Mission Tree. Okay, let's I think maybe send some money. Maybe let's uh, proclaim guarantee. I will give some stuff to this, but I will cancel them later. It's just so I can invite it. Yes, here it is. Okay, now let's stop paying it and show guarantee. It won't get angry. Try to find as many league members as possible. Well, this mission branch is really straightforward. Just check the requirements. Let's also hunt pirates here in the back. And we can finish one more mission. Yes, in just one action. Hunt pirates. I will also spend some money to upgrade central trade here. And finish one more mission. Plus 100 tackets to every member of trade league. And some claims, obviously. As next study group, you can either take plutocratic. Or if you really want to plop, you can take humanist. It will help with improved relations. I'll take plutocratic. Also, the truce with Denmark has ended and Sweden will support it. It's very good. Why? Because of this. This way we would be able to cancel Swedish alliance with Poland without any problem. Let's go in Austria, maybe no, neither England nor Lithuania wants it. And now we can call in Lithuania. I don't know why, but let's do it. Also check it out. Because I block straits from Sealand, that means that after I defeat this stack, it will be stack wiped. Yes, here it is. It was stack wiped. I was trying to piss out Hamburg. I can't. Unfortunate. Okay, let's piss out Sweden. Just break alliance with Poland. Very important. This way we would be able to conquer it later and transfer trade power. And yes, once again, collision seems scary, but most likely everything will be okay. 
we just need to improve relations. Although we can peace out, I will prolong this war. As you can see, the coalition is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, I think that's everyone I could improve relations with. Well, almost. Let's peace out Denmark. Once again, it's not necessary to conquer that much, especially in Denmark. Ideally, I should have conquered uh, some sort of trade. But, well, I want to. Patent map is fun. And I also see I can quickly go Norway and take one central trade. As for such ability, take justified wars, it's just a no-brainer. No need to even think. Let's just take the real back provinces. And not only it will help us with trade, but more importantly, it will grant us access to Dalask again. You might not understand why is it important, but believe me, if Lubeck controls Dalask again, it literally can print money. I can also invite Kosar to trade league, let's do it. And I forgot about Hamburg, let's also do it. Happy Saxony, yes Saxony, very good. As the current job from take one more diplomat, always handy. Also, I would recommend to finish this mission earlier than later. The more you conquer, the more difficult it will be. Okay, let's increase autonomy here. Well, usually it's bad, but, but here I don't want to wait more. And uh, I need to develop once again to reduce devastation. Developing reduces devastation, remember. And now we can finish the mission 10 to the towns. I am doing it now because soon I will declare Sweden, and developing Swedish provinces would be painful. Okay, now we cut plus 100 acceptance to transfer trade. Yes, it definitely works. For now I think we can transfer, but then I will conquer it. And we can finish one more mission to develop the mineral trade, but don't do it. Just don't. Forget. Not now at least. And by the way, about an ally who has called province. It's Austria. Austria has called province, Bohemia has called province, also Serbia has called province. We can try to ally them. I'll be honest, I have so much money, I literally don't know what to do with it. I can't really build workshops, they're not good. Charges are the same, basically. And for manufacturers, I need better technology. Truth with Sweden has expired, and let's declare. But first I will mark some provinces as vital. Soon it will most likely once again ally Poland, because it has royal marriage. Oh no, it doesn't already. Oh no, the king has died. Well then. So you see, if someone has a royal marriage uh, with their previous ally, they will ally it once again 100%. If they don't, there is a chance they won't. And also I'm improving relations with my neighbors. But as you can see, it's improving with everyone in the tree. That's how this works. Once again, improve relations and you should be fine. As you can see, no coalition, even though I'm conquering a lot of provinces. Okay. The most important thing here, take the last again. And also from Sweden you might want to take not only Lubeck, but also maybe Stockholm and stuff, but the last again is really, really important. You will want to move your capital there. Also try not to stay too much, but if you have problems with carrying capacity, you can expand administration. I see a really good opportunity, I need to rush to Volkas, I need to quickly occupy its island. Now I'll wait for Stettin to piss out. As second attribute you can take improved war taxes, or if you haven't completed the mission, then to the towns, you can take this one to reduce unrest. Okay, now I need to wait for... Yes, here it is. This is an OPM, so it will be almost free to us allies. Yes. And now here is the head trick. Mm -hmm. I see, we have truce. Well, it's not only truce. I will declare with reconquest. Usually it would cost a lot to conquer these provinces, because they are quite valuable. But because I will slice Polgas basically for free, I can do it with no aggressive expansion. Let's also develop it once. Here it is. And don't forget you can do this. Enable the war trade. If you do this with your vessels, you will get all of their trade power. After you get 8 admin tech, start building courthouse in the back. And by the way, it's already time to start thinking about mercantilism. Stop taking burger loans if you still do it. And you might want to start giving out some monopolies, but of course that's not necessary. It will help you somewhat of course, but it won't really finish your mystery. You would need to promote mercantilism anyway. You need 75%. Truth with Stettin has ended, let's quickly reconquer. I will just quickly piss out Sweden. Try not to take provinces of non cooperative nations. You will get so many aggressive expansion, it will be quite difficult to control it. So I built courthouse, let's finish this mission. Okay, now you need to rush this mission. A new system of trade. Let's try to find military engineer. And yes, you can find some specific advisor by firing all other ones. Okay, found one. You just click this button, wait one month and new. Let's upgrade him, finish the mission. Here we go. Okay, wet peace Sweden. As you can see, no aggressive expansion by returning course to our vessel. Zero, almost zero. And I can even take two provinces here. Okay, perfect. I think that's all of central trade here. The trade node is almost consolidated. Denmark is transferring trade to me and Brandenburg is BO of Poland. Well, not your average scenario. Usually it would be possible to do something, maybe break their line somehow. Well, this is quite rare because Poland can't PU Brandenburg forcefully. So it most likely happened just because of pattern G for me. And also England is pure Portugal. Also, when you have majority in the back trade node, start using your ship in Baltic Sea or North Sea. Just because the more trade power you have, the less effective they become. After you have control in Baltic Sea, you can uh, use them in Novgorod, 
So now I would love to finish this mission and this mission. For this I think I would try uh, to develop this province a little bit, for 10. If not for Poland, I would conquer these two provinces, return them to Volkes. Although by the way, why am I doing this? It's possible to do this. This land, Stralsund, and now I can develop it myself. I will call it and the great central trade. As usual, you can finish this mission either by upgrading a uh, center of trade provinces and territory points, or by conquest. Also, I think I will finish the North Sea one. I will just use my fleet to protect the North Sea. This will be quite powerful. Yes, more than 50%. Uh, let's finish the mission. Plus 5 mercantilism. Very important. And I need to finish this one. And finally, I have 6 admin mana on my ruler. The previous one died, unfortunately. So, you want 6 admin mana, good relations with ally. Uh, this has called mine. And you want to move your capital to the last again. Okay, we need to add all provinces to HRE. Let's take this. And move capital city here. And don't forget to move back your trading port here. To your back. So you might ask what's going on. Let's finish this mission. Okay, now the last game project is called. Once again, you might not understand what's going on. Why is it important? Look at this monument. Plus 9 local goods produced on gold. Just so you understand, it's around 45 diplomatic development. 45. Basically, by improving this monument, you would get an insane amount of money. Like, a lot of money. Okay, let's upgrade Center of Trade here. Okay, let's take these provinces, upgrade Center of Trade, top up this province a little, and we can finish this mission along the sea and get more mercantilism. Okay, now we have 37, we just need 3 more. I recommend to do this because of this. This mission will make mercantilism cheaper by 10%. And I need 75% of mercantilism to finish the Lubeck mission tree. Let's ask Austria to prepare for war and declare on Sweden. It should be quite easy. Remember that alliances is not important. The power of friendship will always save you. Also, I could declare on Denmark, but it's allied to members of my trade league, and it's just not worth the hassle. After you finish your Olympic mission tree, you will make all your trade league members vessels. Oh, by the way, 40 mercantilism. Perfect. Now let's a rush finishing this mission. Okay, let's piss out Poland. It will be quite cheap to return course to August. Then let's check it out. Oh, it seems there is no difference in increased expansion. I guess that's because I declared with conquest, not reconquest. Okay, let's piss out Poland. Alright, yeah, all Lubeck is basically mine. Only one Danish province left. Oh, and this one. And uh, let's piss out Sweden. Basically, all provinces will help us with trade, but I will focus on North Sea Channel. I want to take all Swedish provinces with it. Let's check it out. Pollution should be more than okay. Okay, let's wait for a little bit more. I want 100 war score. Okay, here we go. Let's piss out. First, let's finish one more mission. Let's also upgrade our central trade here. We could also buy trade if well, but we need to wait for quite a long time. Okay, and we just need third level advisor, immobility clones, and finish this mission. It's very important because, as you can see, it makes promoting mercantilism cheaper. I think it's time for the final section of the video. Let's create the last again. Don't do it, obviously. It's a very bad idea, but I just want to show you. Okay, maybe let's use our troops. One more loan. Here we go. 35 income from gold. 35. Even with this crazy interest, I'm still almost making money. Anyway, now let's talk about trade and your mission tree. Most likely you will have control of Lubeck. 80% is more than enough. Your next call is the easiest one is to first conquer Baltic Sea and Novgorod and transfer trade to Lubeck. But ideally you should conquer English Channel. This way you would be able to transfer trade from Lubeck to English Channel and get even more money. And let's talk about mission tree, what's left of it anyway. You want to finish this mission. So for this expand it to Baltic Sea into Novgorod get 75 mercantilism. That's a lot, but just focus on Diplo and you would get it. Why this mission is important? Because of this. It will make your trade league members your vessels. Basically a vessel swarm. And because you're a trade republic, you will get 100% of trade from them. If you do a trade, of course. And also just a warning, be careful with aggressive expansion when reformation comes. Right now your proven relations should be sufficient, but be careful because uh, when nations become reformed, they have a worse opinion of you. It really depends on RNG, but generally try not to have too much of critical expansion. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.